Topic number one. Do hey, Dr. Islam, what do antibiotics do to your gut health? Fantastic question. I love this question because we use antibiotics all the time. Anytime we're sick, we want to get an antibiotic. Sometimes we can go to a doctor for whatever, we get an antibiotic. If we're wondering something else is going on inside or you know, we feel kind of bad, we want to get an antibiotic. And it totally jacks up your GI tract. It really messes us up. It can affect things even whenever you are very, very young. In fact, we have seen studies in which if you take a consistent amount of antibiotics when you are young, it can really lead to long-term consequences when you are older as well, leading to conditions like dysbiosis, leaky gut, irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, diarrhea, it can really jack it up. What happens when you take an antibiotic is that you take this pill and it just destroys all the bacteria, good guys and bad guys, inside your body. And the whole point of antibiotics is to get rid of bad bacteria. But in doing that, it can also wipe out some of the good guys as well. Luckily, your body has the capability to replenish those good guys, but sometimes those bad guys can also get replenished and lead to long-term consequences. And also, sometimes those bad guys can overwhelm the good guys, especially if you take more than your necessary share of antibiotics. Now, it can cause change in your gut microbiome. Your gut microbiome is made up of trillions of viruses, yeast, fungi, and bacteria. And sometimes taking these antibiotics will get rid of those bad guys and it can lead to problems like C. difficile diarrhea. Let me know in the comments down below if you've heard about this. It can also lead to what's called antibiotic resistance as well, meaning the antibiotics that we do take may not be as effective or we can get resistance to this, which can also lead to long-term problems down the road. So if you've been exposed to antibiotics, if you've taken a lot of antibiotics, or if you know somebody who has, this is what I recommend for you to do. I want you to do five things to help improve your bacteria, improve your microbiome, to make sure your, your microbiome is not whacked out or destroyed by taking these antibiotics. Number one, make sure you take antibiotics only for necessary indications, meaning you are treating a bacterial infection. Guys, antibiotics do not work for the typical viruses you may be getting. So don't take it for that. And the vast majority of sicknesses are due to a virus. So make sure you're taking the antibiotics for a specific reason. The reason being we are trying to treat a bacterial infection going on, not a virus. Number two is that I would really would recommend for you to really go on more of a plant-based diet. This has been shown to help improve your gut microbiome. It is the best diet for your gut bacteria. And what we have seen is that the best predictor of a diverse microbiome is more of a plant-based diet. The more fibers you have, the more probiotic foods that you have, the more you fuel the natural bacteria, this is going to protect your gut from taking antibiotics. Number three, try to minimize processed foods and try to minimize foods that have a lot of sugar, a lot of fats, and a lot of oils. These feed the bad guys and can make it more likely for you to have really bad issues when it comes to your gut microbiome. Number four, try to minimize alcohol. This is going to make things worse for your GI tract as well. And then number five, I would highly recommend that you really intake your fiber. Fiber is the fertilizer for your gut. It works great, helps to minimize the inflammation, but more importantly, helps to fuel the good guys. So if you do have to take an antibiotic, it allows the good guys to replenish and to minimize the bad guys. If you're enjoying these videos, I really would appreciate it if you smash that like button comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you can get great tips like you're watching in today's video and guys don't forget let's talk about poop thank you everybody